Hey y'all, welcome back to the Debergerac channel. We're doing a different project today. As you can see, we have acrylic chairs in the background. These are brand new and acrylic's kind of making a comeback. But we have a unique situation. This is one of those situations where two inches is too much. So we're going to drop them down two inches in height. And how we're going to do that is we're going to cut the legs off. So basically we need to disassemble the whole unit. We're going to set up a jig and we're going to chop one leg at a time, polish it back up, reassemble the units. And we're going to try to be really careful because if you bought acrylic, you know they're not cheap. So let's get started. Well, we got all of the chairs apart. One thing you want to remember when you're cutting plexiglass, use a plexiglass blade. This is made by Freud Industrial and I purchased it just for this job. I do have some other ones. I think they've been resharpened. Doesn't matter. I could have 10 of them. Starting on this job, these aren't cheap chairs. You got one chance to cut them. So I wanted a brand new blade. So you'll notice on this Freud Industrial, negative three degree rake. The reason that it's negative three is because it's for plexiglass. You don't want a forward pitch. A forward pitch on your tooth will chip the material out. So this is actually a backwards chip compared to say the blade that's in here is actually going forward. A reverse rake or negative rake is used for aluminum and metals and things of that nature as well. But I'll go ahead and change this one off and we'll get set up with a jig. We have the plastic blade in there. Set that up to the height right now that we need. We want to take a, just a little right up to the top edge of it. So we have our jig set up to cut these. Now it slides in the rails of the table saw. This piece of two by four is set up at the same angle that the bottom of the feet are. We got a stop over here, clamp on it. And for safety, because this little piece of acrylic is gonna be an inch and seven eighths long, that's just gonna be flopping in the air. So I put a little piece of double-sided tape on the back side of the acrylic. After the cut's made, it should stay in place. But as I always say, plans of mice and men don't always work out. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. Second cut. Look at that real closely though. There's not a single chip out or any damage in the acrylic at all. And that's why I picked up a new blade for this job. Used AutoNet 240 for the first sanding. And then I'm gonna use 600 for the second one. Now mind you, the top wasn't clean before and the bottom obviously sits down and gets scratched. Do it in high gloss finish like Rush it over, we'll see how the 600 works. After you have the rough sanding done, it's so much easier to take the scratches out from the other ones. So now when that sits down, right, it'll look like that on the floor, which is no scratches, nothing. And it will less likely than if I polish it up 100%, it's less likely to do. I just want to show you, like, acrylic is real easy if you have the right stuff to polish with. This is a Novus Fine Scratch Remover. So now if I wanted to buff this up and make it look real nice because it sanded so well, okay, you see that's just a little finger action, right? Now how you all like that, it comes up pretty nice. And that's about it. That's all you really need to do. Well, we got it completed, everything's back together. Hope you enjoyed this. Proper preparation makes the job go smoothly. As you can see, it's a little bit of work to just simply cut off two inches, but 
everything came out fine. We had no issues. Hope you learned a little bit. Come back and visit us soon. Don't forget to subscribe. See you all later.